Hello, welcome back. We're going to continue by installing LAMP. I want to do that just because I want to install MySQL server. So let's get started. sudo apt get install uh, task cell. Okay, this might take some time, so I'll pause the screencast and resume when it's done. Okay, so that didn't take long. Now, let's run, let's actually run task cell. Task cell. Okay, so we are going to install the LAMP server. And that's about it. So, let's tab and click. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's uh, enter the password for MySQL. Let's, let's just use something simple. All right, back to the grind. I'll pause and then resume when it's done. Okay, the whole task cell thing just disappeared, so I'm going to assume it's done. I just want to check to see that I can run the MySQL server and the client so that I can create a database for the project that I'm going to clone from GitHub. Okay. Okay, so the MySQL server should be running. Let's check that it is. sudo uh, sudo netstat tab Type to grep MySQL. This will check whether MySQL is running. If you see something like that, then yes, MySQL is running. So let's create a database in MySQL. So MySQL u login is root. It'll ask us for a password. Oops, I think I entered the wrong one. Let's let's do this instead. P Okay, so show databases. Uh, okay, so create database. And R as a national registry, and I'll explain that later. And let's again show databases. Okay, great. That's done. Let's now exit the MySQL server, exit the MySQL client. Okay, so that's it for installing the MySQL client. Next, we'll look at installing Git, which we're going to use for version control, and we'll install Python pip, and then some virtual environment Python packages. So I'll do that in a separate video in the next screencast. Okay, thanks. Bye.